All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Three. What's going on, everyone? And Cap24 here from Huddle.gg. In today's video, we're going to talk about the switch concept from trip sets and how it's something that I feel that you should add to your scheme right away. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell notification to make sure that you never miss any of our uploads. Now, to find the switch, I want to make sure I'm back out of this so you can see it. You go to concept, go to deep pass, and then go to switch. And the ones I want to talk about are the ones on the screen right now, PA wide receiver in and post wheel. As you can see, they have something very similar in common. There's three receivers to the wide side. And what you're going to see is that you've got the outside two receivers switching. The outside player is doing the S post, the middle receiver is doing the uh, wheel. And what that does is allows us to really be able to scheme off of those two routes. And I'm gonna show you a couple of route combinations that I really like. And I'm gonna go with my favorite play, the gun empty tray stack to illustrate this, but um, you could definitely use this and do different things like with a gun tray open, you can mimic this by just motioning the running back to, um, to make it empty. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll look at post wheel. And the first thing we're going to do is go against Mike Blitz 3, do the meta just to make sure that, you know, if you're going against somebody who likes to put eight in coverage or more, that you have ways to attack this. So with this, I'm going to just going to um, do, you know, what you normally would see when it comes to the meta, or at least, you know, a, a portion of it. And I'm going to do is put this guy on a hook curl to the right. Okay, what that's going to do basically is, is he's going to cover the middle of the field to the right and we're going to have the ability to kind of attack um, in different places based upon this route combination. So what I like to do for this play is I'm going to start from left to right. So from the left receiver, the X, I'm going to put him on a post, the Y on a curl, A on a streak and smart route the B. So it's going to look like this. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to motion the X in a step. And what that basically does is it kind of slows his route down. There's things about timing of routes that, you know, depending on, you know, inside releases like we have on the B, that's going to make that a delayed route. Doing a, a motion is going to do a delayed route. Those delay routes are going to help you when it comes to getting players down the field and making them have to commit earlier. So the first option on this play is to go ahead and hit this X on its break. You're going to see how that's going to be a real easy throw for you. And it's something that they're going to have to adjust to. If you look at the field, what you're going to notice when you look at this route combination is that if they try to cover that themselves, we'll, we'll do that this year. We're going to move this guy to the left and say they're, they're on that spot. What's going to end up happening is that they're going to give up the seam right away to the tight end if, if you want to take it. Okay. Um, what you'll see here is A is on a streak. Um, and we'll just go through the, the progressions. Say you see that, that they're going that way, you throw this ball really quickly, and you're good to go, right? So that's going to really make it tough for them. Say they decide that they want to man that player up, right? So they man that player up, and you know, just I'm looking at adjustments maybe I would do just to make sure that I'm in a good spot here. I, I man that player up, I put that guy in a hook curl, I put this X on a hard flat. And this way, I'm, I'm, I'm yes, I'm giving away the hard flat to the right, but he's not showing me that he's hitting that yet. So we'll do that like this. We'll do our same exact setup. And what you're going to see here is now you're really going to be looking at the B receiver because the B receiver comes in and then he comes right there. And um, whether they put the player on a hard flat, man that guy up, that spot's going to be open. Um, it's very, very tough for them to be able to cover this post on the left. I'll show you right here, right here. This post on the left, you know, on the break, unless they do it manually, and this post coming here on the S post right here on this side and be able to do it, right? Now you can see that we do ha also have this player over here if they're not putting that hard flat because what we're doing is we're pushing all the other zones up. We can definitely throw that, you know, spot throw it over there. But that's not something that typically I'm going to do on my progression right away unless I see that they're, th they're doing it over and over again. Now the last progression on this play is actually the ability to hit the Y route. I mean, actually, yeah, the Y route on the uh, curl. And what you're going to notice here, set everything up, Say they do the same type deal. Uh, we'll do this to where they're they're trying to take you know somebody away in this regard. Um, say they do it like this, right? And they're hook calling this way. 
they're trying to take it away. Maybe the uh, the spy is going to help them, you know, with the X. What's going to end up happening is that they still don't have somebody to cover the numbers when it comes to the curl. So, you know, we're looking at the X first. We're looking at the B. Now we're just going to fire it down to the Y, right? So that's the backbreaker to me. It's like they just are out of options. So what do they do, right? Obviously, I run the scheme. The next thing they're going to do, they're going to go to cover four show two, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this and I'm finding everybody this year, if they can't run um, what they're looking for, say they're at a three, three, five wide, they can't run the, the Mike Blitz three meta, they're going to go to cover four show two. Why? It's because it's a match coverage. Match coverages are something that for some you know people are kind of tough to beat if you don't know how to beat it. But the reason why I like this play so much is that same exact setup, right? So I got my, you know, everybody in the same way. They're doing their, their match coverage. I'm moving this guy in. I want you to watch the A receiver. He is going to be an easy one play score. And the thing that's, that's tough for them is that they're accustomed to getting beat on the right side, on the left side, underneath, you know, all over the place that... That tight end is kind of the last thing that they're worrying about because they're worrying about other options everywhere. That guy's going to get pretty easily open over the top for the one play score. So it really goes well against that. Now, you know, we can go in and toggle through some of the other ones with cover two. And what I like about cover two is that it's going to get matched. Okay, what do I mean by that? The outside corner um, is going to match the wheel as it goes up the field. So what we're going to do is we're just waiting for the post to go across. And that's part of the reason why I do the motion. You really don't have to do the motion, but what I like against cover two is when I do the motion, he's going to get over to the right quicker. And you're going to see that you're going to have that ability to hit the X. Obviously a guy got slipped through, um, but you can see that that's going to be something that's going to get open for you. Let's try it one more time just to show it to you where we're using the same exact setup. But we're going to do the same thing here and against cover two, we're going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to wait. And now the X is going to get open and you can see how nobody's going to be over there because that um, curl of uh, the cloud flat defender got taken away, right? Now, if you know that it's cover two, obviously you can do it on a, um, a slant pattern. It's going to get them over there quicker, but I wanted to make sure that you could use the same route combination for everything on this video and, and work out well right so here here's with the slant just to make sure that you understand that if you really know it's coming you can definitely do the slant the slant's going to get a little bit quicker over there and that way you can see once the guy goes ahead and moves you got that guy pretty easily over there and you're good to go typically the user is not going to try to cover that because if you look at the other options that we have they're getting um challenged vertically right what i mean by that is that the first player here is here he's going to go up the seam if the user doesn't cover that we could just pass lead this to the inside and we're good to go right say they man that guy up then what you're going to end up having is this s post is going to come across the middle he's going to be open in the middle and then you know if they um have zone depths on where this guy is not going to match him this guy's going to get open on there so he has to match him in order to cover him and then this guy is going to be the one that we end up throwing to. And you see how cover two is really not the answer. So they can't really do cover three with zone drops. They can't really do cover two with or without zone drops. Can't do cover four um, quarters match because of the way that we burn them. You're really in a good spot, right? Um, man coverage is probably a decent way of stopping this. If you see this where um, because of the way that it is. But I usually do a one-two um, read on the right side with man coverage where... What I'm trying to do here is I'm going to hit the X because, um, you know, he's got the ability to go inside, he goes up, and then he does the, the break. And typically, you know, you're going to have that ability to hit them on the inside. If not, the curl route is definitely something that is a fail safe for pretty much any coverage when it comes to matching or man is, is the, the curl route. So typically speaking, um, if I didn't realize it was man and I have this play called, then I could do is here and I could just hit this guy right here, right? So it's kind of one of those deals that you've got answers for everything. So um, it's, it's you know, becoming one of my favorite plays to run, to be honest with you. Um, and when I match, you know, put it in with all the rest of the scheme, it, it's really a backbreaker. So what I really wanted to do on this video is just kind of talk about the switch concept. Now, one other thing that I like to do from a route combination, if they start seeing and, and start keying on that, maybe they do it. Now we're going to change the A and we're going to put him on either a post route or a crossing route. 
And what we're doing is we're doing a double post concept, right? So what that basically means, if we do a double post, is that we're making the user have to um, basically um, follow the, the A to the left, and then we're gonna hit the B from the back side. So um, when I do that, I'll put the Y on a streak and the X on a hitch. And this is kind of how I do it this way. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna have kind of a nice one, two. Um, right now, this is uh, match coverage. I'll just do Tampa two so you can kind of see it. But what you're gonna see is that, you know, you got the X right away. And then when you got this guy, he's gonna come over here. And you got that easy you know, against Tampa two, right? Against your cover three looks, what I'll do is I'll uh, see if I can get to cover three here. And I'll, um, let's go ahead and let's do this where we're going to uh, show you a little bit where they're doing it like this, where we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, hard flat this guy, hard flat this guy, you know, do, do something similar, just kind of show it to you. And what you'll notice here is that the A is going to go across and then you're going to have the ability to hit the B as the backside. So if they follow the A, which they're going to have to, now you're going to have that guy as it comes across and you're gonna be able to hit them. So these two route combinations in itself are really tough using the same switch as the base because really the switch, what, what, what makes it work is the wheel route, right? I know I haven't even talked about the wheel route, but the wheel route is what stretches them, you know, basically and widens, widens them out, but then also goes up the field to kind of make sure that everybody stays away from our guys and gives us the opportunity to have this. So this two routes right here work in conjunction with each other to really get this S post open. And because the S post is really good, obviously that guy hit that player or this guy would have been more open. Um, that S post puts a lot of stress on them and it just makes everything else get open because of it. So definitely use these route combinations to your advantage, um, you know, in order to make this work. Obviously it's a great match beater, great meta beater, beats cover two very well. You have options against man coverage. But um, definitely going to be able to work. And I know I told you that um, the tray open is definitely a option to do as well. I'm just going to show you just real quick, not, not really do it, just kind of show you what you would want to do with it um, in order to make it work. So here's PA read. And we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to pick, it doesn't really matter, just so you can see what it is. You're going to want to move this guy over, you know, and move him over to the left. Put him on the post. You know, and then basically on the backside, you can put him on a hitch, A on a streak, and you're going to basically work in the same thing, right? I like stack a little bit better just because of the fact that we can do that little bit of motion, but this is still going to give you that type of deal where you're going to have both posts coming from the numbers and being very hard to, uh, you know, basically defend as a user. So hopefully you guys got something out of this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like. Um, I definitely know that this switch concepts in a lot of different formations. You can find it in spread. You can find it in, um, you know, obviously in these trips. Um, just keep, think out of the box to where you can go ahead and motion over the third player to make sure that um, you have three to one side and you're gonna be able to use this uh, to your advantage pretty easily and attack the user.